David and David here, let's talk about what to do when your AirTags won't connect to your iPhone, iPad, or iPod. Pretty common problem here, and the first things we're gonna talk about are kind of the setup steps that sometimes are easy to miss. So first, let's make sure that your iPhone is connected to the internet. Yeah, open up the settings app. All right. And let's tap on Wi-Fi. Let's make sure that switch at the top of the screen is on. Make yep. sure you got the check mark next to your name. Maybe you can toggle the switch off and back on. Yeah, just turn off Wi-Fi, turn it back on again. Yep. Step two, similar, Bluetooth. Right, you back to settings it. in the upper left-hand corner of the screen, tap on Bluetooth, and just toggle the switch off and back on again. Yes, easy to do. The next step is pretty simple. Just make sure that your AirTag is in range of your device. Makes sense, they're supposed to work, however, up to 30 or 300 or 130 feet away, a long ways away, just make sure it's right next to your phone. Next, make sure the Find My app is installed on your iPhone. It is a native app, but you can delete it. Maybe you did delete it at some point. Yep. It needs to be installed for AirTags to work. How do we find that out? Well, just use Siri. All right, I'm gonna press and hold on the side button. Open Find My. Boom. There you go. And if it's not installed, you're gonna see a, do you wanna search in the app store? and then just do it, install it. Nice and easy. Next step is just to restart your iPhone. Could be a minor software bug. Restarting your iPhone could fix that problem. To restart your iPhone, let's go back to the home screen, and open the settings app again, and it's set back to settings in the upper left-hand corner of the screen. Then I'm gonna scroll down and tap on general. Then I'm gonna to go to the bottom here and tap shut down. So I'll slide the power off, turn it back on. I'm not gonna do that right now myself because I will lose my screen recording. The next step is to update your iPhone. Your iPhone, iPad, or iPod need to be running iOS 14.5 or iPadOS 14.5 to use AirTags. Also, Find My is a native app. The only way to ever update it is to update the software on your iPhone. So while we're in general, let's just scroll back up to the top here. All right, did you know that you could just tap at the top? It goes all the way to the top. There you go, How tap software update. Boom. If a software update is available, tap download and install or install now. Do update. it. Do it. Your iPhone and that will probably fix the problem, especially if you're not running iOS 14. Yeah, already. right. So we've covered all the software fixes. Now we're gonna talk about the AirTags themselves. Yes, so when you get your AirTags, they come in a little plastic wrapping, mm -hmm. and there's a little tab that you have to pull out of the AirTag right. for them to work. So just make sure, look at your AirTag, and make sure that tab is not in there. Now this is what it would look like if the tab was still in there. There's a right. little arrow, it says pull this out right now. I might have uh, done this on purpose yes. for the purposes of demonstrating this video what it might look like there. But if you ripped it off, it could mm -hmm. still be in there. But I think we're gonna hit that during our clean your air tags step. Yeah, so we'll grab a microfiber cloth. Beautiful. Bring it in here. All right. Wipe off your air tag. Also, if you have your air tag in a case. And if you have the Apple case, David, do you know how to take it out? Oh dear, I do oh, not. So if you have an Apple case, they all have these little buttons, this thing. It actually unsnaps. Oh, neat. I know, all right? You go like this. So just make sure you're not ripping it out of the case because you can break the case. So this thing will come right out. And for this one, I'm just pressed down on the back and twist, twist to, the to the left. The back comes off. Now you can really clearly see that the battery tab is still blocking yep. that connector. Just remove that. And to clean these off, because they can get kind of gunked up, although this one's pretty new, mm -hmm. just to use an anti-static brush. You can brush out any gunk that is in there around the outside, and also just make sure that the back, sometimes stuff can get stuck in there. I'll put the battery back in, you'll hear sound. There's the sound. There you go. It's cleaned, the yep. tab's out. And well, how about this? It's, there now you go. it wants to connect, so that, there's a fix. There's a fix right there. Yeah. If these steps haven't worked so far, the next step is to reset your AirTag. This one's already reset, so instead I'm going to reset my other AirTag, which I use for my keys. Thank you, David. So, in the back, I'm gonna press down with two fingers and rotate to the left. Take this off, and what we have to do is reinsert the battery five times. And you'll know you've done it correctly because it sounds different the fifth time. So one, two, three, There you there go. There it is. Take it all the way out. You have to take the battery all the way out every single time. Yes. And then put the cap back on and then yep. your air tag should connect. So if you reset your AirTag, that didn't work. It's time to reset network settings on your iPhone. This will restore all Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, cellular, and VPN settings back to factory defaults. Can't fix maybe a minor Wi-Fi or Bluetooth connectivity issue. Yep. And let's, let's go show them how to do it. Let's do it. In the upper left-hand corner of the screen, I'm gonna tap back to general because I'm in software update right now. Now I'm gonna scroll to the bottom and now I'm gonna tap on reset. 
and tap on reset network settings. It'll ask you for your passcode and then it'll ask you, are you sure you want to do it? And you just say, yes, yep. reset, all, or yep. reset network settings. Yeah, you have to re-enter your Wi-Fi passwords after doing this step. A yeah, little bit sure. of an inconvenience, but it is worth it to fix a deeper Wi-Fi or Bluetooth issue. Next, try replacing the battery, but be careful about which batteries you do put in your AirTag because some of them don't fit. We tried out some Duracell batteries in a different video card above description section below and they do not fit. It's interesting. It, they fit inside, but mm. they don't connect to the connectors because Apple got real cutesy with the way that they designed the internal connections of the AirTags. It'll be very interesting to see what Apple does about that. Yeah, definitely check out that video. Design flaw, we caught it. Huge design flaw. But if you replace the battery, maybe it's time just to go to Apple. Go to Apple, say, hey, my AirTags aren't working. And they'll yeah. say, did you make an appointment? So make an appointment first at the Genius Bar. And also subscribe to our channel because that is one of the number one reasons why AirTags yeah. stop working. Yes. Lack of subscriptions. You can also call into Apple, mail in service, but I don't want to mail in your AirTag necessarily. Well, at least Over you wouldn't phone, lose live it. Oh, chat. Yeah, okay. Yeah. You might lose lots, it. Lots of different options with Apple. Thanks for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Leave a comment down below. If you need more help with your AirTags, let us know what you think about the battery issue. That's... That's big. Big. Yep. And please subscribe to our channel. Please.